Welcome everybody, it's Jesse and Emily. Hello. <laughs> and we're giving you guys a little bit quicker of a flow, something you can do in say, well, hopefully 20 minutes. Um, we'll see how fast, how far and how fast. No, that's not a good turn. I'm starting over, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stand at attention. Big breath in, big breath out. Hey guys, it's Jesse, and I'm here with Emily. Hello. And we are going to do um, a quicker flow, meaning that you guys will have about 20 minutes of activity to do. So this is for if you just need to get it in anywhere you can, you don't have a whole hour to invest with us. So with that being said, we're going to do Surya Namaskar A, B, and then classical sun salutations. We'll definitely include a rest. The rest at the end is definitely self-guided. If you need more rest, take more rest for sure. We're gonna to come to the tops of our yoga mats. Just go ahead and find that prana tadasana that we always talk about. So kind of yielding your weight down into your feet, rocking back and forth. And it's almost as if you're finding that whole core from the arches of your feet all the way to the top of your head. Good, bend your knees lightly, yield your weight down, press into your feet, let that energy come all the way up through the crown of your head. You may even notice a little bit of a sensation in your low belly. You can soften down your eyes unless that's uncomfortable or creates instability. Um, and then start to breathe in and out through your nose. Finding a soft ujjayi. like you found your grounded energy you can bring your hands to your heart space setting an intention for your practice maybe it's to shift some energy be more present breathe give yourself a break from your day to day you ready we'll take a nice deep breath in and out Yielding your weight down, inhale, reach your arms up overhead. And then exhale, bend your knees to pour forward, Uttanasana. From here, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway up. And then place your hands step back to plank, lowering through Chaturanga on an exhale. From here, inhale, up dog or cobra. And exhale, back to downward facing. Good. We have five breaths here, so try and use them wisely. And so you see Em's bending her knees just a little bit just to start so she can really press from her hands to her tail, creating axial extension through her spine as opposed to a back bend. If you want to show them that, Em. All right, so that's dumping, losing some energy. So she comes back up to keep her chronic container intact. Good. Take one more deep, full breath in. Exhale to empty. Walk, step, or hop top of your yoga mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, half lift, and exhale, fold over. Press into your feet, bend your knees a little, inhale, rise up, and exhale, hands at your heart space. That's one round of Surya A, we have four more to go, so when you're ready, inhale, press into your feet, reach your arms up, full of breath, full of life. Exhale, dive in, see if you can mimic that axial extension until you come all the way over. Inhale, halfway lift, Place your hands, keep your chest open, step back, high plank, lowering down. You can always do this on your knees too. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhale back to downward facing dog. Get five breaths. Again, it's time for you to reconnect. We often talk about the inner triad <laughs> of the hand, so it's the inner side of the palm. Pressing there, staying soft through your elbows, recruiting the muscles of your arms to help here. And then can you step into your feet? Maybe even try lifting your toes just a little. Good, working the muscles of your legs. But if it pulls you out into the upper back, go ahead and keep them bent. Go ahead and take one more full breath in. Exhale to empty, walk, step, or hop, top of your mat. From there, inhale, lengthen out, head and tail reach away. And exhale, fold in, navel yields back. Press into your feet, rise up, coming through a halfway lift, but continuing on. And exhale, samastiti, that's two. Good, press into your feet, inhale, reach up. And exhale, draw your navel in, bend your knees to fold. Halfway lift, inhale. 
Place your hands, step back. High plank to low. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice long ujjayi breaths in and out. And there is a little bit of swati banda here too, so that's the inward rotation of your thighs. Okay, and that actually comes up to the rib cage too to keep it encapsulated. Nice, empty of breath. Walk, step or hop, top of your mat. Wave out, lengthen. And exhale, fold in. Find your feet, press in, rise up. And exhale, hands at your heart. A couple more, press into your feet, inhale, reach up. And exhale, fold over. Half lift, inhale. Hands to the earth, step or float back. Good. You guys can always modify this however you need. Um, this is a little bit quicker of a class, so if you need child's pose, take it, but you may miss out on a little bit of goodness. <laughs> Continue to breathe here. But if you need it, it's best to take it when we have our resting breaths in down dog. Good. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale to empty walk, step or hop. Once they're in, how waves you up. Exhale, fold back over. Press and reach up. And exhale, hands at your heart. Good, last one, inhale. Press down and away to reach up, full body action. And exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together as you come out and over, let them separate. Good, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, place your hands down, step back to high plank. Lowering deep front line, nice. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And exhale, back downward facing dog. Continue to breathe freely through your nose. Ujjayi. Reconnecting every part of this practice helps us reestablish our connection with the earth. And so that it asks us to become aware of what is touching the earth. Is there communication between the two? Good, take one more deep breath in. Exhale to empty. Make your way to the top of your mat in a forward fold. Inhale, wave out, half lift, shoulders on your back. Exhale, fold. Press down and away, rise up. Third breath is tossing up. And exhale, draw into Samas DTV. Sorry, Namaskar V. When you're ready, knees towards your second toes, bend a lot, reach up. Good. Exhale, fold over. Half lift, inhale. Place your hands down, step back, high plank to low. Good. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And exhale, back downward facing dog. If you get tired, you can always modify plank on your knees, skip it all together, and just head back to down dog from here. On an exhale, step your right foot forward and then lower your left heel to the floor. Come up, warrior one. We'll spend just a little bit of time here. So another deep inhale and exhale. Pressing from your back heel to your head. Inhale, your breath reach up. And then exhale, place your hands down, step back. Good, inhale, back bend of your choice. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. On an exhale, step your left foot forward. Good, back heel down. Press into your feet to rise up. Square your shoulders with the top of the mat. Find your feet, activate the muscles of your legs. One more deep breath in. Exhale, place your hands down, step back. Vinyasa to down dog. Nice. Good, we'll take three breaths this time in downward facing dog. All the same rules apply, pressing in through the inner triad of your hands, soft through your elbows, wake up your arms, and then see if you can press through the shoulders all the way to your tailbone. Good, hips rotate a little bit over the femur bones. As you start to step into your legs and gradually you may even start to bring your heels down good take one more deep breath in exhale to empty come on up top of the mat a little bit different here inhale halfway lift and exhale to fold listen up bend your knees a lot inhale utkatasana chair pose good and exhale samasti tihi again we have two more of these so when you're ready inhale knees forward arms up Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, inhale. 
Place your hands down, mindful transition back to Adho Mukha Svanasana. Good, inhale with a back bend. Exhale, press into your hands, bend your knees, reach yourself up and back. Good, once there, let go of the breath. Exhale and step your right foot forward. Warrior one, here Vidrasana. Good, stay for the exhale. One more breath in. As you exhale, place your hands down, step back, low plank. Inhale over your toes. Up dog, nice, and exhale back to downward facing dog. Second side, exhale the breath, step the left foot forward, back heel down, and inhale, come on up. Save for the exhale, strong. Inhale, and then exhale, make your way back to down dog. Inhale, and exhale. Good, three breaths. And this is where we start to see uh, town dog is our resting pose, yeah, <laughs> because it's a little bit nice here, but if it's too much for you at this point, again, you can come into child's pose. Let's take one more deep breath in. Exhale to empty, walk, step or hop, top of your mat. Inhale, track your spine long, half lift. Exhale, navel and fold over. Good, press into your feet, chair pose, inhale your breath, and then exhale, stand straight up, hands at your heart. Last one, inhale, chair pose. And exhale, forward fold. Half lift, inhale. Place your hands down, step back, vinyasa. Good, inhale. And exhale. Take one resting breath in. One resting breath out. Keep the breath out, step your right foot forward. Back heel down, inhale, come up. Stay for the exhale. One more breath in, really reach. Exhale, place your hands down, step back, vinyasa. Okay, good, inhale, and exhale. Try and maintain the integrity of your postures. Good, resting breath in, and out. Empty a breath, left foot forward, please. Back heel down, inhale, reach up. Stay for the exhale, find the prana, the energy of the pose. One more breath in and then place your hands down. This is where we see the ujjayi breath really come into play. It's gonna help us as we move through this practice and you may even notice that it gets louder as you go. Good, three breaths. All right, empty your breath, come on back up to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale to fold. Chair pose on the inhale, knees forward towards your second toes, reach up, good, exhale, press into your feet, stand straight up. All right, we're gonna go into classical namaskar. It's a series of four lunges for every one round. Um, let's take one more deep resting breath in, and let it go. Good, on an inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms up please. And then exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, right toes back. Coming onto your right knee. Inhale, reach up, Anjaniasana. Stay for the exhale. Activate through your legs so you lift up and out of your hips just a little bit. And then exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Nice, from here, right foot steps forward, travel onto your left knee. Inhale, press into your feet to reach your arms up. Stay for the exhale. One more deep breath in. And exhale, forward fold, top of your mat. Half lift, forward fold. Reach up. Samastiti on the exhale. Second side, inhale, reach up. And exhale, pour forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, left toes back. Good, inhale, reach up. Stay for the exhale. One more breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, urdhva mukha, or bhujangasana. And exhale, back. Good, from here. Step your left foot forward. Good. Travel onto the right knee. Inhale, reach up. 
stay for the exhale. One more breath in. And exhale, top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to release. Reach up, Urdhva Hastasana, inhale your breath. And exhale, Samastutihi. Take three resting breaths here, connecting back in. That dynamic exchange from your feet all the way to your head. It's like your stretch arms strong, getting pulled away, filled with prana, creating space in your body for more prana to move. Good, last one. When you're ready, inhale, reach up. And exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Place your hands down, right toes go back. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale. Now we're facing dog, don't get too comfy. Because <laughs> right toes come forward. Left knee to the earth, inhale, reach up. Stay for the exhale. We are spending a little bit more time, deep breath in. And exhale, forward fold, top of your mat. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, hands at your heart. Continuing on, inhale, reach up. And exhale, pour forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, place your hands down, left toes back, low lunge. Inhale, and breathe. One more breath in. Chaturanga. Inhale. And exhale back down, dog. All right, when you're ready, left toes forward onto your right knee. Inhale, reach up. Save for the exhale, savor. Good, one more breath in, press into your feet to reach your arms, and then exhale forward, pull top of your mat. Inhale, tra track your spine long, and exhale to fold. Good, press into your feet, come on up, breathe in. And exhale, hands at your heart. Three resting breaths here, and trying to connect in deeper with yourself, deeper with your breath, creating that space. Allowing yourself to fill it. When you're ready, we'll come on down. Coming onto your back. And draw your knees into your chest. We're going to take our supine twist. So this is your opportunity for finishing postures. We are going to add in our Shavasana here. So let's do one bridge pose. Do a lot with the legs, so spine will be a little bit open for Dupanda Sarvangasana. Feet about hip width distance. Toes angled in just a little. Good. And then press into your feet. Roll your lower back down on an exhale. And then reach your hips up from the strength of your legs. Good. You can walk your shoulders in here. And allowing your chest to reach towards your chin. Keep grounding through the big toe mount. Just right about here. And breathe. See if you could actively spiral your inner thighs, Swati Banda. Take one more deep breath in. And exhale, lower down. Good knees to your chest. side to side. So arms come out to a T. Let's bring the back with the hands onto the earth. Pressing inner ankles towards one another. Good. Take a breath in here. As you exhale, knees over towards your left hand. Marrying your shoulders to the earth. If it feels natural, your gaze may go away from your feet. Don't force it. And press in from your bottom ankle to your top. Come back through center on an inhale. And then exhale to your second side. And so focus 
focusing on the breath. And you're going to permeate your body, traveling around. There's so many different ways that it travels through the body. Press into your bottom ankle, come back through center, hug your knees into your chest, and we'll set up for Shavasana. So if you're at home and you wanted to, you could bring something like a rolled up blanket underneath your knees if you'd like. You can take a pillow underneath your head. And just let yourself relax and receive. And our teacher, Nikki Dong, would tell us that um, five sunnays, ten sunnays, these different prescriptions that Patabi Jais would give people, um, they didn't have enough time in their day and they were working through some stuff. So just doing this amount of yoga is beneficial. Our other teacher, Karen, always says, no efforts in yoga are ever wasted. Let your eyes soften, let your breath start to return back to normal. And see if you can start to scan your body from the tips of your toes all the way up to the crown of your head, noticing any lingering tension and can you relax that region. Start to notice your body lying on the floor, all those places where your body connects with the earth or something. Start to notice the skin that you have exposed to the air. So you can fill into all of those places at once. Traveling your awareness from the tips of your toes to the crown of your head. Long past 
mouse to your ears, taking one big final stretch. Take a breath in through your nose and let it go out of your mouth. From here, rolling onto either side and fetal rest. Find gratitude for something, anything. When you're ready, we'll end in a comfortable seat with hands at our heart. 